How's it hanging all you gamers? EG Psychotic here bringing you another Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay commentary. So here today I have a top page uh, search and destroy game battles match. Uh, this was I believe against a team that was like 50, 50 wins and 2 losses or some, something around there. Uh, so we are like uh, we were like top 70. Uh, we've really been grinding out Search and Destroy GBs, just trying to get our Search and Destroy game down to the T. Uh, we've been freaking doing 10 games a day when all four of us are on. If not, we're grinding out 3v3, MLG variants on second accounts, we're grinding eights, uh, different things like that. Uh, but in this video today, uh, you see that we're down 5-3, to three, and I want to talk about how important it is to maintain your composure in competitive Call of Duty. Uh, so in competitive Call of Duty, uh, sometimes things might not always go your way, especially when you're playing online. Uh, when you're on LAN, uh, connection's a lot better and different things like that. So this was a match that actually was not on our host. And it was it came down to the 11th round. And uh, uh, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but uh, something crazy happens. And it was kind of... If you guys have ever played a sport uh, and you have that competitive drive, you know that you hate losing. That's how I felt in this game. We were down 5-3 and I was like, fuck, man, I, we're going to lose this game, whatever. But you can't think like that. You got to go into every single round thinking it's round by round by round. We got we to gotta win each round. And that's the kind of thoughts you have to go in. And sometimes, uh, even I do it, and I've been playing sports for years, uh, I always get down on myself when we're losing and I know that I shouldn't do that but sometimes I really do and it's the same thing in Call of Duty and I've noticed that when I do that and I just kind of um, get down on the self get on the team we don't play as well but when you focus up and you're like okay we got this it's 5-3 let's go you win that round it's 5-4 let's go you win that round it's 5-5 it's a tie game it comes down to that last round and you have actually have the advantage because you have that momentum going into that last round. And in Search and Destroy in Call of Duty, it's important to get that pick. Like um, right here in this round, you're going to see that I, I uh, um, or I think it might be in the next round, 5-5, five, five, I get that crucial pick. My teammate gets picked, but I counter that right back. And then we equal out. It's 3-3, three, three, right? Our team gets a pick, 3-2. And then their team gets a pick, it's 2-2. Two, two. And then, they, and then another pick, which makes it 2-1, and then we get a pick, it's 1-1. One, one. And then it's a one-on-one, -on -one, 11th round, and that's what happens in this game. And I'm not going to um, spoil it for you, but you'll see what happens. And I was in this game, and I was absolutely shaking. And once I got this, I was like, dude, let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking go. And it's things like that. If you're in like a best of five, right, and – you're down 5-3 in a Search and Destroy. And let's say Search and Destroy is round two of a of the best of five. Uh, uh, you Let's say you lost your domination, right? And then you're 5-3 down in a Search and Destroy. And in a best of five, if you go down 2-0, you're pretty, you're in trouble. And you But you can't think like that, man. You got to go in you got to say, all right, let's fucking take this game by game by game. And uh, kind of the same thing you do with a Search and Destroy when you're down. Uh, but, yeah, I just want to talk about – I basically just wanted to rant about how important it is to maintain your composure. Uh, everyone does it, even the pro players do it sometimes. Uh, but that I feel like that's what separates the amateurs uh, from the semi-pros to the pro players, and it's maintaining your composure in tough situations. And um, basically knowing what to do and when to do it. Like right there, I got a pick, boom. Um, you just gotta know when to do it. And I feel like that's really important uh, in Call of Duty is just maintain your composure and know what you got to do and when you have to do it. Uh, so that's going to pretty much cut it down. You're going to see that it's a one-on-one -on -one right now. I have to plant the bomb, uh, but I see that guy down there and I just kind of wait him out and I know he didn't see me because he probably would have challenged me. And then boom, let's go 6-5. We came back from a 
uh, a 5-3, uh, um, whatever you call it. We were losing 5-3. We came back. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to talk about how important it is to maintain composure, not only in Call of Duty, but anything you do uh, competitively. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you did like this video, make sure you guys give it a like rating. It really helps my video grow a ton. Uh, and if you really, really enjoyed it, make sure you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button and stay tuned for future content. All right? I'm going to be coming out with a bunch of uh, Call of Duty Ghost gameplay uh, commentaries here and there. And uh, also some vlogs when uh, different important stuff comes up, different things like that. So stay tuned for that. I have a lot coming your guys' way. And I'm Audi. Peace.